How did this come along? I know I read four years ago you wanted to bring baseball, Major League Baseball team to Charlotte, to the big city of Charlotte. Was it friends? Were you sitting in a bar hanging out with friends and said, hmm, maybe we bring a baseball team to Charlotte? How was this? How did this come come about talking about this? Uh, pretty much it was just out of curiosity. I moved out here about 14 years ago. ago. Um, I'm from Los Angeles originally. And I always wondered, even before I moved here, why North Carolina has never had Major League Baseball. And so it just kind of bothered me. And I would just look and do information about it, about how uh, the city's growth, the population, uh, jobs, the economy. Uh, we already have professional football and basketball. we got a professional hockey team in Raleigh. And I just was like, man, I mean, this city has a bigger population than like 14 cities that currently have Major League Baseball. And Milwaukee's the smallest. And I'm like, and we have another state next door, so we're like two states in one. And I, I thought, man, this is a perfect place for Major League Baseball, and I just can't figure out why. So, hey, you know what? Let's do it. Let's see if there's any interest out there. And we've been growing ever since. You come from L.A., so you're a Dodger fan, right? Yes, I am a Dodger fan. So what did you what did you think about this story that came out over the summer about the Astros cheating and the Dodger players like Bellinger coming out and taking shots at Altuve that Aaron Judge got screwed out of an MVP? What were your thoughts about what happened in the offseason with the Dodgers and the Astros? I hated it, you know, and it's not because I'm a Dodger fan. I hated it for baseball. You know, to me, it, it was like the 1919 White Sox. To me, it was just fraud what they committed. And it wasn't just stealing signs. People keep saying, well, they were stealing signs. No, this was more elaborate. This was like, uh, you know, banging on trash cans and using video cameras, using, like, uh, technology to cheat. And it's just, it's really sad and it's really disgusting that some of the Astros players want to downplay it and say, well, we would have won anyway. So um, it's bad for Major League Baseball. And it was really disappointing the commissioner's response to it as well. How about Charlotte? You talk about the minor league team over there. You brought the minor league team over there since 94. What are your thoughts? I understand where, where baseball is growing throughout the country. and Me and Speedy were actually talking about my producer over here. We're talking about what city could use a professional baseball team besides Charlotte. And I couldn't think of one. But Charlotte, I've been to Charlotte. It's a it's a get down city right now. It's right there on the Carolina area where the towns are big. They're growing. I mean, the, the college is over there. What is the the minor league team doing out there right now? Well, we have a minor league baseball team called Charlotte Knights. Um, they used to play in South Carolina. Their attendance was like three thousand when I first moved there. The attendance was bad, and so eventually they came. They eventually are now in Charlotte. Um, they're in our our downtown area, we call it Uptown Charlotte, where they play at, and their attendance jumped from 3,000 to 9,000 in one season. And they're one of the most uh, popular. Um, the, the stadium is beautiful. It's one of the most visited ballparks in all of minor league baseball. So um, the attendance is great for minor league baseball. And I'm like, man, they have good attendance, and uh, they can support minor league baseball. Why can't we support major league baseball? We have so many transplants out here from all over, like Ohio, Los Angeles, um, Virginia, all over, and and uh, a lot of New York people here. And I told them uh, they would like to see the Yankees come out to Charlotte and play major league baseball games. So there's a lot of enthusiasm about it, and and um, we're really excited that the commissioner put this on this on this list in 2015 for expansion. Rick, it actually just led to my next question. How do you think the minor league baseball teams in a pretty big state as it is, but also very good support? How do you think that could help? bringing in the fan bases from all parts of the state and also maybe South Carolina that's neighboring because I know they – football with the Panthers, they get a lot of fans down there in South Carolina and with the Hurricanes as well. How do you think that could yeah. help in terms of getting fan bases to commit to that area? Because there's not much other baseball in even some of the neighboring states really besides the Atlanta Braves. Yeah, I mean we're like – uh, four and a half hours from um, Atlanta, and we're like next hour from Washington D.C. So to me, this is a perfect market, and I think they would be very enthusiastic. And I know our city would be. I mean, you can't turn down the millions and millions of dollars to see a, a team here and the jobs it would provide. So we would get a lot of uh, response from our from um, our pro team, from our city council, from our 
legislation, and um, I've talked to people in, in legislation, and no matter what party they were affiliated, they all want to see Major League Baseball, and uh, it would be very excited. So it would be a lot of enthusiasm, and it would be like a, a, a whole project for not just me doing it, but our whole, state, our whole state would be involved as well. We are speaking to Rick Curti, founder and CEO of the Charlotte Bats, and let's bring MLB to Charlotte. Rick, my question to you is, you're looking at baseball right now, season's around the corner, this is the earliest the baseball season's going to start in almost 25 years, which is, it's, we remember that baseball usually starts the second week of April, or really the, the, fir- the end of the first week. Now all of a sudden we're starting at the end of March, which is, you know, what baseball's trying to do, and baseball now is trying to cut games possibly in the future and make more playoffs and make more teams make the playoffs. I, it's crazy because I think the rules and the changes where the major league is trying to transition the new age of baseball to the millennial guys that the millennial kids that are into baseball now and trying to make the yeah. game faster. My question to you is the rules that the different changing of the rules, like the umpires, maybe having a robot call the strikes <laughs> behind the plate. Do you think this transition and this change of rules is going to help baseball or make it worse? That's a really good question. You know, I'm old school. I hate to see like uh, technology take over sports. You know, I know human beings make mistakes, but, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm just not really, you know, like I said, I'm old school, but Anything to improve the game, and I know why they're doing it, because like you said, the young people are just not going to the games. The attendance in Major League Baseball has fallen off in the last five or six years, and people are just not going to games. So a lot of it has to do with the games not being fast enough or anything like that. So, you know, for me, it's so weird and so different uh, to see all this technology. But at the same time, I get it. I understand why they're doing it. And they want to attract not only the young people, but unfortunately, um, the young African American population are not don't want to play baseball. They all want to play football. They want to be the next LeBron James, um, and so that's another uh, demographic that they've uh, not done well at all. So I understand it and I get it. It's just it, it's going to take me a while to get used to it, but I understand why they're doing it. So anything to improve the game and to bring more people, I'm all in favor for. Rick, if you had a solution to solving this issue that baseball claims they have, even though it's, again, only certain fans, how would you fix it? Um, well, what I would do is I would just reach out more to the community. That would be more for younger people, maybe do more um, uh, kind of like events to attract the younger people. I've heard that they want to, like, I heard things like they might want to make it to, like, seven innings. You know, instead of nine innings, um, maybe they could do an XFL version of baseball, kind of make it. Please don't. Simplified. Make it more, um, more quicker. You know, I know the uh, batters getting out of the batter's box. So I think what I would just do, I just would, you know, like kind of like make it not as uh, long. I, I'm not a fan of DH. And um, I think that's one of the reasons games take longer with the DH. I'm on favorite pitch of pitch is batting. I mean, the DH just takes too long. Um, I would just reach out more to the community, reach out to people, and uh, just, you know, get them more involved. And uh, probably I would just have a discussion group and say, what would you like to see in baseball? Why do you not watch it? Just ask the fans, what do you, what do you want from it? What, do you, what would benefit from it? And I don't think Major Baseball has done that. I think that they made so much money, you know, from the TV deals and the licensing deals. And, you know, the attendance has dropped, and you hear all these weird rules like robot umpires and all this stuff. But I would just ask the fans, like, what do you guys want to see? What do you guys want? What is football doing? What is basketball doing that Major League Baseball is missing? And I think if we can get that together and work with, like, maybe the NBA and work with the um, uh, NFL and to just, you know, have, see what they're doing, I think that could solve a lot of problems. We are speaking to Rick Curti, founder and CEO of the Charlotte Bats, and let's bring MLB to Charlotte. Rick, my question for you with, with baseball as a whole, when you look at Rob Manford and we were just talking about the Astros and we talk about Pete Rose, and this has been a bother, this has been bothering me since the whole Astros thing came out. 
over the summer, really th- throughout the off season, throughout the winter, and then you're hearing about the Red Sox possibly cheating as well and doing what they did with the Ash- what the Astros did. My thoughts to this: Has Rob Manford done the right thing on trying to um, punish not only the GM and the coach, but really punish the team and the organization and the owner enough? to for this never to happen again and and that to me has been a, a big story right now and now fans are coming out and taking shots at the Astros organization and they want the Astros to give them back some of their money or let them all the season ticket holders to get a, a huge 50 60 percent discount off this year's season well um I respect the commissioner but I think the way he handled it's been absolutely abysmal I think uh, to say that the big punishment is shame is really disgraceful because they, they still get the kids' money. They're still making millions of dollars. They're still playing. They didn't even get suspended. It's crazy. They should have been suspended for at least a year. And to me, what they have done is just as bad as what P. Rose has done. I mean, they actually stained the game with what they're doing, and they won a world championship with it. And it just reminds me of the 1919 Black Sox you know, the whole eight men out where they, you know, gamble, throw away games, uh, so that, you know, for in the World Series, it almost ruined baseball, and hopefully this won't ruin baseball at all. They're, they're trying so hard to to appease the people, and yet you see something like this going on. It's just really disgraceful, in my opinion. And to me, the Astros, what they have done is no better than what Pete Rose or Shoeless Joe Jackson has done. So about the way he handled it has been bad, uh, comparing the World Series trophy as a what do you call it, a piece of metal, which he later apologized for was bad. And it just seemed very tone deaf, his, um, his explanation. I mean, they should they should have been suspended for a year. They should have been stripped of the title. They should have just been left it vacant. And, you know, a lot of people would be saying, well, you're a Dodger fan. What you feeling? I feel like that with anybody, even if it was like uh, the Tampa Bay Rays or somebody. This is bad for Major League Baseball. And um, the commissioner, the way he's handled has been bad. And now all these players are getting hit in the, uh, with the Astros. They're all being already, like, targeted for, you know, which I don't agree with. You shouldn't go targeting after them. And you can hit, you can hurt somebody. So it's just bad right now for baseball. Um, and if the commissioner did something, like just suspend it for a season or just give them away their title, I think people would be like, okay, at least he did something about it. But... And and this their their answer the Astros are they they were taking so much ownership to it and then little by little they started saying well you know it wasn't as bad as you say it is and even if we did do all that where well, everyone else is doing it and you know and it's just really sad that that that's the way they're going saying they would have won it anyway and it's just it's just not right at all. <laughs> 